Hi guys and welcome to a new PLD Creative Challenge, PLD Photography Locked Down. It's a series of twice monthly creative challenges to help you practice seeing the world differently, to help you become more creative in your photography. It's not about settings, it's not about the camera you use, it's all about you because you are the most important person in all of photography. If you don't know what PLD is and you'd like to find out more, please click the link which is popping out above me up there right this moment. So this week we're going to be looking at breaking the rules. There are certain rules in inverted commas of composition, such as diagonals, the rule of thirds. Most people have heard of that one. There are spirals, there are all sorts of things, frame in a frame. And they're really great guides to help you get going. But very often, when you break a rule within photography, you will get a much more eye-catching image because when we see something too often, our brain disengages and it kind of goes, meh, seen that sort of thing before. So if you can find a way to break the rules of composition and still have an engaging, eye-catching image, you've really got something very, very special. Now this tutorial was actually shot before COVID-19 and before lockdown happened all around the world. But nonetheless, it's a great little example of breaking the rules and I didn't want to waste this video. In it, I am shooting with a model because to make the videos, it is so much easier for me if I've got someone to photograph rather than going around looking for something to photograph. I only have a limited amount of time to create these little tutorial challenge videos. You can shoot whatever you want, whatever you want. I know some of you get very hung up about, well, I haven't got a model, where can I go? I don't know, I haven't got anyone who'll pose for me. You don't have to use a model. What I wanna see is you experimenting and finding different ways to break those rules in inverted commas of photography and give it your best shot. The hashtag for this week's challenge is appearing on screen right now. Please remember to use it with the description of the image and put it into the relevant album within our Facebook group. Let's go have a look and see what we're gonna be getting up to. There are so-called rules of composition, but they're not really rules, they're guides. They're a great way to get you going. If you follow them, it, it starts to get you thinking and noticing how you position your subjects and the elements of a picture around the frame with your camera. And composition is all controlled just by little movements, left and right, little tilts, just by moving your camera around like this, side to side, moving yourself side to side. That is how you control composition. But these so-called rules, they really are just guides. And just because they're rules, don't try and force a rule onto an image because there's a good chance it won't work. They certainly don't work for all images. The rule of thirds is probably the most famous one. But if you try and impose the rule of thirds onto an image, there are times it won't work just because the image doesn't suit it. So I've got somebody who's gonna let me take their picture and in a moment, we're gonna go over there and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Karina Kinger Kiss, your real name. Actress, kickboxer, model, biker chick, many talented lady, thank you very much for helping us do some pictures. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. So why are we here? Because I just want to use a plain background. I want to show you some things that will or won't work to do with the rules of composition. Now, one of the most common rules of composition is don't put your subject in the middle of the picture. Let's break it. Let's go back over here a bit and see what happens. You just do your stuff, Karina. You know what you're doing. Look at that. There are so many ways we can do this. I'm going to, first of all, come back here and put Karina's face smack in the middle of the shot. Look at that. Now, that's just broken a rule of composition, but actually it works. Let's try it a little closer. Let's come in a little closer. Now, what am I doing here? What are my settings and stuff? Don't worry too much about settings. Settings are the ones that work. I am using, just so you know, a 420th of a second at f4 using 200 ISO and the last shot was taken at about 40 millimeters I think on this camera which is a crop one. Don't get hung up on this stuff guys just use whatever looks right and works and the exposure's good. So repeat that shot but we're going to come in closer. I really like that last shot. Look and again we're going to put Karina's face right in the middle and it still works doesn't it? How about if we put a on a rule of thirds, the most common of the lot. 
How do we do it? Come around here a little. Can you see my camera all right? Cool. Now look, she's in the middle. Here we go. Karina is in the middle, okay? Now to put on a third, all I've got to do is move the camera to the right. Did you see that? What a tiny amount that is. And to put her on the third, I just need to tilt it down a little bit. Now she is right on a third. Let's take the shot. It does look nice. I'm not disputing that. However, what happens if we break some rules? You see, it's a nice shot, but do you know what? I think the first couple of shots where we've got a right in the middle, I actually think it's more interesting. How about negative space? You know that thing where you give lots of empty space around your subject? When you've got a plain empty background like this, it works really, really well. So I'm gonna put Karina right down at the bottom of the frame. Let's stay where we are. And we're just gonna go kind of head and shoulders. I'm zooming in a tiny, eeny bit. Oh, look at you showing off. Actually, that was in the middle, sorry. I was getting lost in what my model was doing. <laughs> right, pay attention, Brown. So come out a bit. Let's just put Karina right at the bottom and right in the middle of the frame, which is, of course, what people say you shouldn't do. Karina, can you just bring your left hand up a bit somewhere? I don't mind where you put it. Yeah, do it like that, maybe. Put, yeah, that'd be all right because I'm just gonna do your head. There we go, right down near the bottom of the frame. You see, I like that, it has impact. It's slightly odd and that makes it more noticeable, yeah? Mix things up a bit. Don't be afraid to try different things. You can do all sorts of crazy stuff. How about if we looked straight up? Always be good to experiment. I'm doing it by tilting the camera. Sorry, Corinne, this isn't usually the most flattering angle, but I am gonna do it nonetheless, just to see what it looks like. Can you lean forward a tiny bit? Thank you. Why did I do that? It's because as you look up at someone, it makes them taper. By getting them to lean forward a little bit, it kind of corrects that because they're more in line with the camera. There we go. And again, I'm just gonna put you down the bottom, like that. Does it work? It's not bad. It's not bad. The main thing is experiment. Let's go and find another little spot. Let's go and have a look inside. This is a really cool little spot. I know I'm going for blank walls, but it's because we want to sort of put the emphasis on the person we're taking the pictures of. Why is this a good spot? Well, I'm going to mix up some light with composition now, maybe break a couple of things up. We've still got the plainness, so Karina stands out, but look, over here we've got light is coming in from the side it's really nice but also over here we've got a great big open space and all that lovely soft light it's not directional it's no direct direct sunlight it's all blowing in here and washing over Karina it's really nice soft even light if you look at her face come and have a good old squeeze it's kind of really nice smooth light yeah looks good now how are we going to compose it what are we going to do think it through what about our exposure, because you don't want to be thinking about exposure whilst you're trying to photograph your model or your person or your subject, because this applies to any genre of photography. Well, we've lost likes, we've just come inside here, I think. So let's have a little look. What's my exposure gonna be? Oh, look, you see we're right down to one second in here. It is much darker, isn't it? So what are we gonna do? We're going to increase the ISO. I'm probably going up. Probably around about 1,000 ISO, I think. Don't be afraid of this. Don't be afraid of a higher ISO, that's better. In fact, I can take it down. I'm getting a 3 20th of a second, 3 20th, 200th of a second, ISO 800, 200th of a second, ISO 800, okay? We've got lovely light. Karina, it's really easy doing this with someone who knows what they're doing, I know. When you're doing this with your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your partner, your husband, whatever, and they're feeling self-conscious, it's not as easy, but if you know what you're doing with your composition, your light, it makes life a lot easier for you and you can spend time making them relax. I don't need to, she knows what she's doing, I'm lucky. Right, so look, again, how about if we put Karina right in the middle, but near the top of the frame? Isn't that great light? And I still think the shot looks marvellous. How about that rule of thirds thing, yeah? Remember how we do it? How does that look? I don't think it looks as good as putting her in the middle. We're breaking some rules. What about the negative space thing in this same place? Don't forget, try everything. I'm fairly close on her face. I'm gonna put her near the top. Let me show you, video. 
here we go. So, there she is in the middle. But how about if I put her right down the bottom there? Now I want to give her as much space as I can so I can zoom out a bit and see where it works. And I've got to be careful, you go too far, we're getting this thing here and it's not so good, is it? So I'm going to zoom back in a little, but I do quite like that with her right down at the bottom of the frame. It could be good to one side. I don't know. Exp I quite like that. I know I'm bonkers, but I do. Right, let's take the pictures. Single shot, here we go. So we're putting Karina right down the bottom. Karina, could you let your hand down, please? Thank you. Otherwise it looks a little strange, like a disembodied arm. I quite like this head. Could you look towards that way, please? Look towards the light, that's it. It's quite a profile shot, but I think it'll look quite good as a very, there. I rather like that, I rather like that. I know we're breaking rules, but so what? Don't you think it looks good? How about if we include a little bit of this? Look, we've got this piece of stonework here. We've got another bit here. How about if we use that as some foreground and kind of frame her between them with all this gorgeous light going on? Yeah, this is all composition. Composition is so simple, guys. Really, really is. What we're gonna do is experiment, try different things. So I'm gonna have a bit of this in the foreground. Let me show you. Again, here we have our Karina. Right, now look, as I move back, look, you see we've got this bit of stone suddenly appeared here. See, in comes the stone there, and it's kind of lining up with the stone over there. I'm going back further. I want to give her more space, more space. Look, doesn't that look good? I think it looks great. So, our shot. She's nicely framed between the two sort of pieces of stonework, and I'm putting her just off center. She's not in the middle, she's just off center. But you see with that space around her, it looks really, really cool, doesn't it? This is all there is to it really, guys. Breaking the rules of composition. The rule of thirds is probably the best known one, but then there are also diagonals and things like this. Don't try and create a diagonal if there isn't one there. I wonder if we could do one actually just here. I'm going to look for one and see if I can show you one. Back in a minute. Karina, can you just come stand over here under that sign? Yeah, I think that'll work. Guys, so right, we're just having a little shifty. Find the next one, break some rules. I want to get rid of this bag. It's driving me nuts. Remove it, le bagage. Monsieur, chuck it down there. Right, back over here, please. You got a sneaky preview of what I'm about to do then, didn't you? Yeah, that's cool. Just kind of, yeah, you know what you're doing. <laughs> so this time we're going to shoot the other way up, okay? We're going to create a diagonal. The diagonal isn't real, it's implied. We've got Karina down here, and then we've got that black sign against the wall. We have an implied diagonal, it's not a real diagonal. And then we're gonna break the rule. Right. Both will look good, but I'm just saying, don't be afraid to break rules. Here we go, that's really cool. I like that, that's cool. Make sure it's good, it is good. Please could you just stand underneath, right in the middle, yeah, fraction that way. Yep, there, you got it. So now what we've done is, is break up the implied diagonal and we're just putting everything in the middle, what you shouldn't do. So I need to be right in front of Karina and the sign. Here we go. That's quite cool, like that. I quite like the square, flat, straight on look. That's, yeah, do, do what you do when you're just relaxed, yeah? <laughs> Here we go, one more. Just for luck, look at that night. Now look, so Karina's face is pretty much smack in the middle of the frame. There we go, I like that when she was looking the other way. There we go. Look, her face is pretty much smack in the middle of the frame. We destroyed the diagonal and we got a straight line going straight down through the middle of the shot. So when you flip back through those, you can see some of them are complying with the rules and some of them are breaking the rules. Don't be afraid to break rules. Never be afraid to experiment. Composition is a function of arms and legs and hands and feet. It is so simple. It is just how you move elements around within the picture. Look, if I were to take that one more time, you stay there, that's really cool, but I'm just gonna put her on a line, on a third line to the side. It still works. But which do you prefer? Try things, break rules. Don't try and force rules onto your compositions. Experiment. 
practice makes perfect. It's the only way you're going to get experience. So I hope that was some value to you guys. Um, if you're not sure what I've been talking about and you want to learn more about your composition and light and your camera controls and all that stuff, please go and check out my Ultimate Beginners course because everything we've talked about in here, the settings, how to find them, it's all in there. Go and have a look. If you like this video, please share it around. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel. It'll help me make more free videos. And if you didn't like it, please tell me why you didn't like it. I'm always interested to know and I can't fix things if I don't know they're broken. And finally, if you click the little thing popping out up above me at the moment, I can send you some free weekly video tips, some inspiring stories by other photographers, photographers just like you who've overcome obstacles. You'll find them really exciting and I'd love to stay in touch. So be well, take care, and we'll see you next time. Coffee? Coffee, Joe. Joe's nodding silently. He's the cool, silent type. See you later. So there you go. I know some of you guys are going to be swearing at me about this. Some of you are going to be challenged by it. Some of you are going to be super excited about it. The important thing here is to give it your best go. PLD is not about winning a challenge. It is about stretching your creativity. It's giving you a push. I'm your coach to get you out there and trying something different. Because in order to grow, we have to go and try something different. We have to get it wrong. I've failed my way to success in order to do the things that I do these days. We don't get it right all the time. And there is no right, there is no wrong within creativity. There is only what you love and what you like. Go out there, give it your best shot. And remember, you don't have to shoot a model. You can shoot whatever subject you like. What I want to see is creative ways of breaking the so-called rules of photography. See you in the live judging.